How about this? 28 girls hospitalized after playing with Ouija boards at their school in Columbia. <laughs> yeah, you remember it, don't you? <laughs> the girls had signs of an anxiety attack. The school's apparently waiting for a diagnosis before providing further information here. But it is worth noting that one mom said her kids always have a good breakfast and the fainting was not due to a lack of food. This isn't the first time this has happened in a Colombian school. Back in November, 11 teenagers collapsed after using a Ouija board at another school in Colombia. It was later reported that at least five of them had suffered from food poisoning there. No. I will do it to you. Maybe just don't use Ouija boards. I, yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. That's what I vote Those for. Those things do creep me out. The ghost and all that paranormal stuff. Have you ever used is, one, though? I used to mess around like back in like eighth grade, grade school or something sure. with some buddies. But I, they're hokey, but I don't know. Any supernatural stuff, if it is true, I don't ever want to see a ghost or anything like that because I'll be ruined for life to Iran, where authorities are investigating what the Iranian government is calling potentially deliberate poisoning of hundreds of schoolgirls. According to senior officials, the girls from schools across the country have been suffering respiratory, cardiac, and neurological symptoms. Iranian media is reporting that the poisonings have been taking place for months. Hundreds of girls across the country have fallen victim to suspected poison attacks. The alleged poisonings started in November last year in the Shiite holy city of Qom. Reports suggest over 60 schools across 21 of the country's 30 provinces have been have seen suspected cases. Over 1,000 children have been affected so far, over 1,000 of them. That the alleged poisoning cases might actually be psychogenic in nature, highlighting the fact that almost all sufferers have recovered quickly. The report says that the news of these poisoning cases should be taken with a pinch of salt. The report says there are startling similarities between the cases in Iran and previous incidents reported from Afghanistan and the West Bank. In all these cases, female student, students in Islamic schools in different time periods exhibited symptoms like headaches, nausea, abdominal pain and blurred vision. According to the Psychology Today report, the girls in all three cases were suffering from a mass psychogenic illness. The report says it follows a pattern, a mass illness, media frenzy, and accusations of state terrorism. And uh, mm -mm, I'm, you know, playing with the devil. Mm -mm, in, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Of course I did. Anyways, according to the story, nearly 30 uh, schoolgirls in Colombia wanted all the smoke. 28 schoolgirls were hospitalized with anxiety attacks after allegedly playing with Ouija boards at school. Now, according to various reports, the girls suffered from fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms after playing the board game, and they were admitted to a hospital accompanied by parents and school facility, faculty. Uh, info on their diagnosis has not been released. <laughs> so we, we, we all put our hands on the Ouija board and we ask it questions and it, it would start moving. Like, and I'm like, are you moving it? And she's like, no, are you moving it? And it would spell things. We would ask it questions and it did move. One time I was playing the game. You got, I got addicted to it. I'm not going to lie. I, I left it alone. My phone rang downstairs. My mom said, Claudia, you get a phone call. I go, wait, wait. I want to test it to see if it's real. I said, who's on the phone call board? And it spelled out Sterling. And when I got on the phone, it was a guy named Sterling that I went to nursery school with when I was five. So it freaked me out. We ended up throwing it away or it got missing. It disappeared. No, I think it disappeared. But it did work, y'all. It worked. I'll mess with it now, but it did work when I was young. I, I'm honest. And it's funny because I, 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 you've never lied in our friendship. So I'm going to take your story for face value. It works. But I just don't believe it. Like... So when I come to Miami, do you want to try it? No, I'm just bring this shit to my house. <laughs> <laughs> just in case.